Well, good evening. This is Dave Jones with Storm Center Communications and Geo Collaborate. This is a 5 p.m. update on Hurricane Lee for the All Hazards Consortium Sensitive Information Sharing Environment, uh, where we share information across sectors, across private sector organizations and government agencies uh, to make decision making and situational awareness uh, much better and much easier. So Hurricane Lee uh, is continuing to grow its wind field. That has been the biggest concern over the last 48 hours as the storm has now started to turn to the north northwest and will turn to the north uh, as it completes that jog over the next 12 to 24 hours. Uh, we now have hurricane watches in effect. Uh, there are hurricane and tropical storm watches that have been issued for much of coastal New England. We've been talking about this for the last couple of days now much of New England uh, in the coastal areas is under uh, hurricane and tropical storm watches. So uh, also a storm surge watch uh, has been issued for southeastern Massachusetts. So that's uh, Cape Cod uh, is going to be under the gun with some very strong winds as that wind field expands. Uh, we'll get into that in just a moment. But just over my shoulder here, you can see it looks larger, doesn't it? It looks larger than this time yesterday. Uh, as a matter of fact, tropical storm force winds now extend 200 miles out from the center of Hurricane Lee. Hurricane Lee now has winds of 105 miles per hour. And uh, that means that the winds extending out 200 miles to the west and 200 miles to the east and to the north and to the south. That's roughly... Uh, the distance that those winds expand. That's 400 miles across. So when I get to showing you the cone, I'm also going to show you uh, that wind field that is forecast to expand. And that means that we're going to have high impacts, high impacts across New England, especially down East Maine and also uh, along most of the Maine coastline and inland, as this storm is expected to take a little westward a jog as it gets up into that area. So uh, once again, uh, tropical storm winds extend 200 miles from the center and they're going to extend even further uh, when I show you this. Um, so I want to take it full screen here and show you again just how large the storm uh, has gotten. It's not an illusion. Uh, it's not an illusion from what you've seen yesterday. The winds are extending out further and the storm, uh, here's the center, which is getting a, it's a, has a, had a pretty nice defined eye during the day today. And this storm is now turning to the north, northwest, and then we'll turn to the north. Out to the east is, uh, uh, is uh, Margo. We don't have to worry about that. And there's another developing tropical uh, um, investigation uh, we'll say uh, out in the tropical Atlantic. We'll talk about that later. One other interesting note, you see this swirl in the atmosphere above the Great Lakes. That has been bringing a lot of tropical moisture. Look at this, all the way from Texas and the Gulf Coast up the coast here. And there have been terrible rains in Massachusetts, uh, southeastern New Hampshire, and also parts of Maine. Uh, there's been uh, flooding and rescues going on. So needless to say, this whole area of uh, New England across Massachusetts, northern Rhode Island, and, and Connecticut and Maine is already saturated, already saturated with a lot of water that has fallen. So what I'd like to show you uh, now is I want to take you just close in, just so you can appreciate uh, the power of this hurricane. Uh, this is Hurricane Lee. Look at those strong thunderstorms. Anything rotating right around the eye, that is where the strong winds are that uh, they also uh, extend out. And um, it looks like this storm is going to increase in size, which is going to impact a lot of critical infrastructure uh, from New York's Long Island up into New England. So uh, what I want to do here is I'll, I'll take you back to Geo collaborate and show you what it looks like from the standpoint of that wind field. So here we are. Uh, this is the current wind field in uh, in Hurricane Lee right now. This green area that you see. Um, I can turn off uh, the forecast wind field here uh, for a moment, 
There, I'll, I'll turn off the uh, wind field forecast so you can see just how wide the wind field is now. As a matter of fact, here is the tropical storm force winds that extend out 200 miles from the center. These are storm force winds in the green. That's anywhere from uh, 57 to 73 miles per hour. And then hurricane force winds, look how far they extend out as well. Uh, that is from 74 miles per hour to 105 miles per hour with higher gusts uh, in this hurricane, as we'll see as the storm moves further north. Now, uh, keep in mind right now, look how thin the cone is, the Hurricane Center's forecast cone, but look how far the impacts extend outside of that cone. Uh, the cone is not a damage path. So when you see, as I move to the north here, when you see uh, that the cone is only touching eastern Maine, uh, don't pay attention to that at all. As a matter of fact, uh, we can just get rid of that cone. But what I want to do is turn back on the wind field forecast. Okay, so this is the, the wind field forecast uh, from the National Hurricane Center at 5 p.m. And so I'm going to zoom in here a little bit. I'll zoom in close to... Um, New England, and you can see right here at this period of time where we have the forecast at 60 hours, so that's valid at 2 in the morning on uh, September uh, 16th. So that is 2 o'clock in the morning on the 16th, and so that is Saturday, Saturday morning. You can see the tropical storm force winds are already impacting eastern Massachusetts from Boston, south and east, and most of the state of Rhode Island. So uh, that is where you can expect winds of 39 miles per hour uh, and with higher gusts. So that's starting at 2 a.m. on Saturday. But as we go up here uh, into the forecast period of uh, Saturday at 2 p.m., this is 2 p.m., you can see tropical storm force winds and storm force winds are impacting coastal Maine. Now, that's only if valid if the storm follows this exact track. If Lee moves anywhere to the left of this track, that entire wind field also shifts to the west, which means that you must prepare for tropical storm force winds gusting to hurricane force winds along the coast here and inland as well. So uh, what I have displayed in the green and the uh, yellow is the forecast for uh, excessive rainfall. So there is a uh, excessive rainfall outlook, which means flooding rains uh, over the next one to three days in Massachusetts, Rhode Island, Connecticut, into southeastern New Hampshire and parts of Maine. That will extend to the north as the storm moves further to the north into uh, day four. So we've already had flooding rains in New England. The soil is 100% saturated. So any additional moisture brought in by Hurricane Lee is going to exacerbate the situation. We also know that Maine is highly wooded. New Hampshire is highly wooded. Lots of pine trees. Maine, the pine tree state. Um, and uh, eastern Massachusetts and Cape Cod. So uh, power infrastructure is going to be threatened uh, as this storm moves to the north. We're going to be watching it very, very closely. And uh, we do have uh, impact graphics that I also wanted to bring to your attention. So let's take a look at those impact graphics um, now. So within New York, Connecticut, Rhode Island, Massachusetts, New Hampshire, and Maine, we'll see high winds of 35 to 74 miles per hour with higher gusts. Remember, if the storm moves any closer to the coastline than what's forecast right now, uh, you can extend those high winds inland. So any of you preparing for utility infrastructure uh, uh, preparedness, for communication tower uh, preparedness, 
uh, get ready for 35 to 74 mile per hour winds. Uh, lots of activities are going on right now protecting boats. You know, the lobster industry is huge in Maine. Those uh, traps need to be pulled and uh, those boats need to be put into safe harbor. Uh, if they uh, don't make it there, uh, then we could have a lot of uh, impact to the lobster and the fishing industry up in New England. We also have heavy rainfall falling on saturated soil, as I mentioned. When that happens, flooding is immediate. If you live in any areas or you work in any areas or you need to get to your job going through any areas that are vulnerable to flooding, uh, you need to think about moving closer to that place of employment if your job is critical. Uh, if you're a responder, keep that in mind. You may want to stay in your areas where you have to respond, uh, in the firehouses, if it's safe, if it's not going to flood. So the uh, next uh, graphic I wanted to show is um, vulnerable infrastructure that we just talked about. You see the graphic on the left, that's that wind field graphic that's going to be impacting Maine and also uh, Southeast uh, New England. Most of New England on the coastal side uh, will be impacted. So transportation, roads uh, could be easily flooded by surge, by storm surge in Maine and the coastal areas where those roads come almost right down to the ocean. Uh, through uh, bridges that are going over, but very low bridges. Utilities, uh, critical infrastructure of power uh, will be impacted by this storm. Many, many trees will be brought down by these strong gusty winds. Also, cellular communication is essential. People of New England are relying on cellular communication, and that will likely be impacted by these strong winds as well. There are large pine trees and old growth trees that will be threatened uh, by these strong winds. Uh, also, when is the timing? So we're talking about New York. I have New York listed here because Long Island, eastern Long Island, could see wind gusts uh, 30 to 40 miles per hour. That will work its way on up uh, Connecticut and into uh, Rhode Island and also into eastern Massachusetts. So Friday. Friday afternoon, we'll start to see the impacts. It's already getting breezy just because of the pressure gradient uh, between um, pressure systems uh, to the north and Hurricane Lee. And we'll start to see uh, some very large increases in tidal surge as we approach Friday into Saturday. So um, I have Sunday listed here. Lee, uh, if it behaves as forecast, uh, will likely uh, be out of here in uh, northern Maine on Sunday. However, the strong winds will remain from the northwest because there will still be a pressure gradient as um, Lee makes, makes its way into the Canadian Maritimes. And so that's what we're looking at right now for estimated timing of impacts Friday through Sunday. Even though you might see the sun on Sunday, you definitely will see the sun in Rhode Island and Connecticut and Long Island uh, on Sunday as the storm moves away. Uh, but it will be windy. Winds will be offshore, so that'll be good knocking down any uh, tides that'll be coming in. So uh, one other thing I just wanted to reiterate again as I go back to the first uh, graphic. The first graphic that I showed, you can see that spiral off of the coast. That is wind uh, gusts from Hurricane Lee. And those winds are going to be gusting to 70 to 74 miles per hour and higher just off the coast of Maine. So any deviation in the movement of Lee from the forecast track will bring those stronger winds on shore. So that's the update for right now, 5 p.m. September 13th for the All Hazards Consortium and the information sharing environment, the sensitive information sharing environment. Uh, we'll be posting this for uh, distribution throughout the internal networks uh, within the SICE. And uh, we'll all also be putting it on our uh, GeoCollaborate YouTube for others to access 
uh, just so it's easy to access that way. If you want to become a SICE partner, if you work with an agency, organization, private sector, operators, uh, logistics, food, fuel, communications, transportation, medical supply, transportation, register at SiceUSA.org. That's SiceUSA.org. You can be a part of this information sharing environment, and hopefully it will help you improve your situational awareness and decision making. Uh, that's it for right now. Next update will be tomorrow afternoon. I'm Dave Jones with Storm Center Communications and GeoCollaborate. Thanks for watching.